dismissal by former President Jacob Zuma when he takes the stand at the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture in Johannesburg tomorrow. Nene was fired by Zuma in December 2015, just uh, 18 months into his tenure. Many have attributed his removal as part of the Gupta-inspired influence in the appointment and removal of cabinet ministers. Uh, we're now joined uh, by Floyd Jivambu from the EFF. Uh, good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. You've raised concerns around Ntlanjanene. You've done so in Parliament. Uh, you did so in response to the President's State of the Nation address. Uh, basically, from the EFF's point of view, the Finance Minister isn't uh, as squeaky clean as many believe him to be. What does that mean? Uh, look, uh, you're, you're right that you're correct to say that uh, when we debated the State of Nation address this year, in February, the Commander-in-Chief of the EFF said that uh, to the president that the minister of finance is not as clean as he is thought to be and then we then wrote him parliamentary questions and uh, sent him letters several letters and even went to the standing committee on finance to ask him about his relationship with the guptas when he was a deputy minister of finance and therefore chairperson of the public investments corporation and he didn't respond to that letter. And the letters that we sent, we actually complained with the speaker. We complained in the steering committee on finance to say, why is the Minister of Finance not responding to the questions? Because in terms of the code of ethics for all members of the executive, they are obliged to respond to questions that are asked by members of parliament. And to this day, he has not responded to the questions about his close relationship with the Gupta criminal syndicate because it appears now that uh, during his tenure as deputy minister of finance he used to uh, recommend the Guptas for certain business dealings uh, in a manner in which was inappropriate he would force the administration in the PIC he would force the potential uh, recipients of debt financing from the PIC to say they must partner with the Guptas and uh, when we asked him specific questions about that, he did not respond. And one thing that we did deliberately was not to make public the letter that we wrote to him. We wrote to him only and even told him that we have written you a letter. Can you please honestly respond to the questions that we have asked so that we can then determine what becomes the next course of action because we had thought that let us give him the benefit of the doubt because if we had made public the letter at that time when we wrote to him and, and raised all those issues, it was going to give him a, a dark cloud above his head and, 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 and it was going to be very difficult yeah. to even get to the bottom of the issue. The EFF has spoken about not trying to expose the Minister of Finance. If you then interpret his refusal to answer those questions as you put it, uh, that would be uh, a refusal to be accountable why haven't you exposed him since look we still gave him an opportunity to come out clean uh, we were actually now uh, in the process of discussing different options of what do we do now that we have written him the letter we have written to the speaker we have raised it in the standing committee on finance what other options do we have should we then take illegal recourse to force him to respond to that letter. But it comes out now, just before he goes to the Commission of Inquiry on State Capture, that all our suspicions about his engagements with the Guptas are correct. That is what he's going to confirm tomorrow, that he is going, he was busy with, with the Guptas during his tenure as a Deputy Minister of, uh, of Finance. And it's one issue which he could have just responded to our letter on, which is going to confirm tomorrow. And, 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 and then this therefore tells South Africa that if the Minister of Finance who had close relationship with the Guptas, they recommended him to be appointed as a Minister of Finance. And when he was in office, he stopped engaging with them. That is why they then approached the then Deputy Minister to him, Kevis Jonas, to say that instead of Ntlantanen, we're going to appoint you on the condition that you are going to cooperate with us, we'll even give you uh, 600 million out of the proceeds of our government engagements. Yeah. The, the and then when Kabisu couldn't agree, yeah. they then opted for 
uh, Des Van Royen. Uh, uh, but, but you can realize that the whole South Africa was mobilized into fury, correct fury, and, and, and anger that the Guptas are changing I have to ask you ministers this, in that format. I yes. have to ask you this then, because the obvious question would be that if, as you allege, he had cooperated with the Guptas when he was deputy minister, why would he have stopped doing so when he became the finance minister? That is one question that he has to answer. Uh, he possibly thought that uh, now that he has been made a minister uh, by the Guptas, it will be impossible for them to recall him. And they showed him flames. They recalled him, they humiliated him, and gave some lousy reasons on why they are recalling him. But, but surely, if he had the cooperated with order. them, he would have had things to benefit. He would have had something to gain. Surely, if he had played ball all along, when he finally is uh, in a those, decision, those, those, those are questions. Position, he would, those are, he would those are still questions. Cooperate. Those are questions that Tantanene must answer. It's those are the questions that he must respond to as to what was the basis of him going to Saxon World on a recurrent basis, what was the content of the discussions, and what are the commitments that he made to them, what deals did he uh, shift to benefit the Guptas. And okay. we have questioned him on several occasions that he must speak the truth and nothing but the truth, or he will get exposed, and then he, 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 you will again have to, to step down as a Minister of Finance of South Africa. Let's talk about some of the specific uh, allegations that are yes. making the rounds, one of which uh, was around uh, what happened at the PIC, as you alluded to earlier. The Sekunjalo deal, for example, to buy the independent media group, uh, he was uh, he is said to have opposed that even uh, at the time that he was Deputy Minister. What's, what's your information? No, we know as a matter of fact that uh, when uh, Sekunjalo was asking the PIC to give it debt to buy uh, independent media from the Swedish owners who used to own it before. Uh, Nene recommended to do that way in Sukunjalo to say that they must work closely with the Guptas. He had tried to strong arm them and the PIC to giving developmental or like debt finance uh, plus equity to a company which had a interest of the Guptas and on a constant basis when there was no cooperation he kept on changing the terms of the debt and equity which the PIC was supposed to expose itself but ultimately the Guptas didn't on. get uh, they didn't, didn't get ultimately the yeah, of course they didn't get but as a matter of fact is that he was baiting for them he was working for them he was always in their company he was always saying that they must get business deals and 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 it, 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 it then later on when he becomes a, in conflict with them. We then, all of us, are misled into anger which are a result of his own engagements with the Guptas. It's difficult because in a way we're preempting what's going to uh, happen tomorrow. But yes. let me ask you this as a final question. Okay. Uh, what do you, how do you respond to the view that's been expressed that part of the pushback against individuals like Minister Nene, Pravin Gordon, among others, including, of course, the Deputy Director of Treasury, Momonyat, that part of this is pushback that as institutions like SARS, for example, are re-strengthened, uh, the EFF might have its own skeletons tumbling out of the closet. And this is why you're part of a campaign to discredit them. What's your response to that? That, that is the craziest and possibly the most stupid supposition that can be given in terms of uh, the EFF leadership. None of us have got any conflict with the revenue collector. Uh, not, no one, not the president, not the deputy president, not the secretary general. There's never been any tax issues around the leadership of the EFF. We consistently raise issues that are even uncomfortable. And when people do wrong, when we think that people are doing wrong, we should and will always raise that stuckedly in which without case any without any fear of contradiction and when we think that they are being victimized will always take their side because we're always on the side of the victims that is why when Tanta Nene was uh, we thought he was being victimized that time we, we spoke on his side even when we thought that sure. Pravin Godan is being victimized we spoke on his side but when they go overboard in terms of what is acceptable practice and, and behavior in terms of the rules that govern this sure. country we'll, so we'll why not openly you know. speak about that there's if nothing it's about accountability why don't you tell us the specifics of what you know so that we can all be on the same we, side we take uh, independent and autonomous decisions as the EFF on what to publicly communicate 
and we, we do that consistently oh, and right. we know in certain instances that certain information will release when it is not it's, it's necessary it was not necessary and it's not necessary even now to reveal some other information that we have on Tantanene. that is why we have called on him to step down as a minister of finance right. so that uh, he leaves the uh, national treasury at peace and then he allows people who have got integrity right. I'm afraid to take uh, society we've forward. run out of time um, we'll obviously see what unfolds tomorrow and what he has to say no doubt uh, as uh, these proceedings continue if you have information please uh, share it with us uh, at whatever the time you may deem is appropriate that was Floyd Shivambu the deputy chief whipper and uh, deputy president of the economic freedom fighter